something you all need to know. Um, so it's the, the cube rule of food identification. There is food in it. If that will impact you, please leave the room until the next talk. It's about food. So a question has plagued scholars for decades. In fact, I've just realized I don't have my note screen. <laughs> that, that could be uh, difficult for me. How do I get my note screen? Give me my note screen. Please hold. <laughs> we need some elevator music. Aaron, do elevator music. Technical difficulties. <laughs> there we go, I have my notes now. Um, so yeah, a question has plagued scholars for decades. Are hot dogs sandwiches? <laughs> New York State says yes. For tax reasons, hot dogs are sandwiches, as are burgers, uh, open face sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, and gyros. Uh, the British Sandwich Association says no. It's <laughs> quite a heated debate. Does it And it's grown to other foods as well. So this is a declaration saying pop tarts are a kind of ravioli. <laughs> And deep dish pizza is not a pizza, but a casserole. <laughs> but the oracle phosphatides actually solved this for us. The cube rule was born. So according to the cube rule, there are six groups. <laughs> <laughs> and food is classified by the location of its structural starch. <laughs> Structural starch being a solid piece that holds it together. So first up, we have toast. <laughs> this is defined by one piece of structural starch on one side. So examples of toast are pizza, <laughs> cookies, and apple crumble, which is upside down toast. <laughs> Next up, we have sandwiches, which means that the item is surrounded on two sides. So examples of sandwiches are jammy dodgers, <laughs> lasagna, which is a multi-layer sandwich, and Victoria sponge cake. Next up we have tacos, surrounded on three sides. So examples of tacos, we have hot dogs, they aren't a sandwich, they're a taco. <laughs> uh, Subway sandwiches, because they don't cut all the way through. And a slice of pie, which is a taco on its side. <laughs> Next up we have sushi. So sushi is surrounded on four sides. Examples of this are falafel wraps, sausage rolls, and cannoli. And then we have quiche, which is surrounded on five sides. So four and either the top or the bottom. So examples of this are jam tarts, soup in a bread bowl, and toad in the hole. We also have Chicago deep dish pizza. It's not a casserole, it's a quiche. Uh, a whole lemon meringue pie, so you can't slice it. And a pastel donata. And then we have calzones. Calzones are completely encased. So this means stuff like burritos or steak bakes, or pork pies, and dumplings, and jam donuts, and a whole unsliced beef wellington. <laughs> if you slice the beef wellington, it becomes sushi. <laughs> there are some additional rulings on this. So if there is no structural starch, it's a salad. <laughs> Which means that you get steak is a salad. <laughs> spaghetti is a salad, because there's no structure to spaghetti, it's a blob. And chocolate, because you can be really healthy and have chocolate for lunch and it's a salad. We also have mashed potatoes, chips and cheese, and soup, which is a wet salad. Uh, any form 
of star any block of starch that's not sliced, that's just a block of starch, is toast. So this means that muffins are toast. <laughs> a whole loaf of bread is toast. And crumpets are toast. Uh, and the final one is a villainous vanilla soy latte is a three bean soup. Which means that it's a three bean wet salad. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm glad that I got to do that. <laughs>